Hey, this is Jordan from Avid. I'm here with Paula Fairfield down at the Avid booth at NAMM 2019. And we just heard an awesome talk that she gave. It was so it was so interesting. And any of you that missed it, you really missed out. But we will have it online for you next week. In the meantime, can you please tell me a little more about how Pro Tools helps you do what you do? Well, I have the dubious honor of having started working with Pro Tools before it was Pro Tools. So Whoa. I started working with Pro Tools when it was Sound Tools and Sound Designer 1 and then Sound Designer 2 and then Pro Tools. So I worked on every stinking version. We have a long, illustrious relationship, Pro Tools and I. Sometimes love hate, but that's, you know, it's, it's a personal relationship with your dog. But no, I, I, I really, um, having gone from mag to multi-track to digital and having seen that whole thing play out and having seen Pro Tools grow up from a four-track system to what it is today, and I'm beta testing now, so I know also where it's going, so impressed. I mean, we could not, the kinds of tools that Abbott gives us in this DA uh, is, uh, I mean, it, 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 it's everything. I'm constantly changing my workflow as new features come out. And some of them are things I would have never thought of. Like I, I was saying clip gain and clip effects and stuff. My God, I love that stuff. It's, it was one of those like little surprises that may not be used a lot in mixing, but from a design point of view, it's critical. You know, I, I cut it 96K, I keep everything elastic and fluid to keep giving me maximum flexibility as I'm working, and it's been everything to me. You know, it's, it's incredible. And I know there's so many other possibilities out there and whatever, but it, it's been very comprehensive. And obviously, because it's an industry standard, it's something, you know, that is, it's got to be part of your life if you're working in this medium. But it's been, it's been a, a great ride, and I continue to look forward to seeing what Avid introduces because the tools are always, always welcome. Always. Welcome. We are so glad that it is helping you. Um, you mentioned that you're beta testing. Um, can you talk a little about some of the features that you're most excited about? Am I allowed to? Uh, we're, we're doing a preview right here. Yeah. Oh, well, the the increase in voices is un freaking believable. I mean, I'm telling you that is revolutionary, and the thing is. It just saved me a ton of money because I was going to buy a third card just for voices, just to have more voices, and so I can split things out farther and hear more stuff. And it's, you know, just that alone is, is I mean, that is, that's rocking. The amount of tracks, I mean, we're like doubling tracks all of a sudden. And because I work in 96, obviously I have half as many tracks, but now I have twice as more again. So it's, it's awesome. More creativity at a better price. <laughs> <laughs> what more could you ask for? What could you ask for? I mean, it's no, it's 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 cool. I love that. I mean, there's a lot of neat stuff, track presets and all that, which have already been rolled out. But those things are great. I mean, little tiny things like that shape minutes off tasks, which turn into hours and days. And it's you know, in this industry, we're getting less and less time, and we're asking, being asked to do more and more. So those things are critical. You know. You know, in this industry, you were working on uh, a series like you do on, on Thrones. Um, you you work. You mentioned working with a lot of different people. With with you know, you're working with the maker. You're working with like the music. You're doing a lot of different things. So it's a lot of collaboration. Avid, as you know, has just rolled out Avid Link, which is uh, it's a free app that we have that is available to anyone to connect with the entire Avid community. Whether you're you know on the video side, you're on audio, to just give them an opportunity to you know to to, to find each other um, you know do you what do you think of that no I think it's really cool and I mean I like the concept of building community God knows we all are working alone in our dark little rooms so it's nice to have this and I the avid link I look forward to playing around with it because I think it's it's cool it's something that that hasn't been offered before and again I mean sense of community learning from each other I mean in these times when the world is so tough this is something really important, you know. It's it's our like little safe zone where we work, and I think connecting with each other more. It's really, especially for someone like me. I mean, I live alone in the desert, like a hermit. Not alone with your dogs. I got my dogs, but no. But it's it's very isolating, and and so to have this sense of community and see what's going on and all that, I love that. You know, it, it it's exciting. It's inspiring to hear other people's stories, uh, and it keeps kind of beating, so it's great. Yeah. I, I just want to ask you one more thing. What do you have to say 
um, advice, wisdom, anything to the women out there that want to be doing this? You know what, ladies? It's freaking well time. And I have been on a rampage for the last while. It is not okay that at the end of 2017, 5% of sound designers in Hollywood are women. Not okay. We have so much to offer. All right, so we need, what we need to do is build safe places. We all discovered that over this last year with the Me Too movement. It answers a lot of questions why women aren't in hostile environments. And, you know, I said recently to somebody, I said, what would it feel like? What do you think it would feel like to have people automatically assume you were capable? Have people automatically allow you to, you know, to try and to, and to have confidence in you and not having to be fending off having your butt grabbed while doing it? You know, I'm sorry, but that is the reality for most women. And when I hear the argument, oh, there's no, you know, women just aren't interested. It's like, you know, if you're not paying attention to the Me Too movement and you have not heard what's been going on and you can't de deduct why women are not walking into those situations only to be questioned as to whether they're competent, capable, or any of that. I have had, you know, since I've been reaching out, I've had young women in school tell me, I had a young woman say that she was at school volunteering to help a male director with their project and it had a car chase in it and they felt she wouldn't be able to do it because she was a woman and it's a car chase and she was asking for advice and I said, you know what I would ask? How many car chases have they been in? Why is it assumed that guys can do car, you know, women have, and women do think differently, we approach sound differently, our relationships with sound is different, our hearing range is different. So, you know, for me, it's not either or, it's all of us together. I think a yin yang with men and women working side by side would be fantastic, but we need so desperately to shift the balance. And I'm all like full blown call out to the ladies. It's like, let's get this on because there's so many talented women out there and you've got soundgirls.org and women's audio mission and all these great groups. It's like, let's do this. And that is why I do these things, not because I like to get up on the stage and hear myself talk about my process, but because for the women who are in the audience, they need to see a woman sitting on the stage and know that they can too. And so that's that's my personal little mission right now. So. And, and we love having you up there. You are an inspiration, yeah, Paula you. Fairfield. This is Jordan at the Avid booth down here at NAMM 2019. Get down here. You can see the... You can see For the Throne, Avid Capes in full effect. Yeah. Uh, and if you missed Paula's talk, you can get it next week on avid.com slash nam. Thank you so much for being here.